Welcome back, everybody, to TD Worlds. Uh, <laughs> last episode, again, we're, we're, we're looking for the one. The, the one run that's going to give us the dub. In the meantime, we do have some more of this... Uh, I forget what this currency is called, so let's purchase some stuff. And as I hit my mic over here, which is, uh, the stand is still broken and being held together by the will of God and scotch tape. Our Lord and Savior, scotch tape. Praise be unto him. Uh, we're going to do this. So we'll get extra shards on when we're hit by enemies. So if an enemy hits us, we get a few extra shards. Uh, we can't buy anything in the armory because, you know, I'm out of whatever that currency is. Oh, hi, Christ. Ready to start upgrading on your command. Thank you, thank you. Um, so we so last time we did get all these new sniper, or we did get all these new towers. Sniper tower, machine gun tower, slowing tower. And we tried out the sniper and the machine gun to, unfortunately, not much success. So I think I'm going to try the slowing tower. So projectile speed is going to be a little bit slower, so it might have trouble catching up to the faster enemies. But I've got more fire rate and more fire power, so can't be that bad, can it? Well, we'll try it out. Worst comes to worst, we'll go back to the normal towers. So we'll hopefully kind of do this mix of eventually uh, towers and... Uh, I, I don't know. We gotta get the dub. There is a... Uh, we are kind of reliant on... Uh, on uh, RNG, but uh, I mean... Hopefully, our in Jesus will bless this run. Slowing towers, so... We'll see how well this works. Um, okay, so we're still hunting down... We're still hunting down shielded enemies, because those seem to be the enemies that are messing me up the worst. I'm not really seeing the slowing effect. Wait. There is no slow effect. The towers are just... The projectiles are just slow. Okay. So maybe that's not so bad. At least on these early levels. Later, at later levels where we got the faster enemies, that's definitely going to mess us up real good. But maybe it's not so bad. Maybe we can get something to overcome it, like this. So, let's see here. So, uh, we're 60% minus 13. What is that? That's uh, 47%. So, we're, our tur our shots have only gone down. We're down 40 to 47% projectile speed. Maybe that's not so bad. Maybe it is bad. I, I guess I don't really know. It's... So far, it's not really hindering us too badly, I would say. It actually seems to be... Oh, we're already done with this level. Another projectile speed increase. Okay. So we're almost to... Oh, wait. Let's, uh... Place down, then debate. So we're down to... So that's 39. So we're... What is that? 21%. So our projectiles are only 21% of their original speed. So if we can keep overcoming this... Uh, this deficit will be okay. These are actually pretty good towers once you get past the uh, their deficit, which in all hindsight, the only turrets, towers I was, or the only enemies I was really worried about were these really small, fast ones, and we seem to be handling these like a champ. I think I could live with a 21% deficit. I'm 
gonna go for the firepower. I'm gonna go for the rare firepower. Ooh, I wanna make I wanna make some meta progress. I think our turrets are strong enough right now. With especially with this bump in firepower. So this spot is essentially useless because they're not coming this way. And I'm expecting these guys to be showing up soon. Yeah, called it. This isn't too bad. Like, the, the projectiles aren't that slow. This is definitely something we can live with and work around now. I feel like overall, these turrets are probably the best ones. Especially since we got that uncommon projectile speed, so... I was wrong initially when I said that, uh... Oh, those are just outside of that one's range, so that was essentially a wasted spot. Shoot. Eh, sorry about that. That was my timer for laundry. So the uncommon... So the rarer the upgrade, the, uh, more that subsequent levels increase it by... We've only got 48 uh, essence, so that's not enough for a shop. So we're going to take the tower upgrade. Um, where are they coming from? This way. Both ways. Converging there. Ooh, that's an awful lot. That leaked through there. Nice. Okay, now I'm starting to sweat a little bit here. I think enemies are... are not gonna get through? Well, that is shocking indeed. I need that auto essence pickup. Uncommon shield damage. Yes, I will take the uncommon shield damage. I guess we're taking an essence drop. Can't go wrong placing here first. I took shield damage. Yeah, I took shield damage plus I'm hitting the 3% from my research. Some of that meta progress. Shoot. This is a staunch defense we were throwing up here. One more wave? Fast wave? Shielded wave. No shielded enemies yet. As I need to shut my mouth. Like, actually just plant my mouth shut. No more talking. I have lost my... I have lost the right to... Uh, to utter... to utterance. And this was just essence, so not a great stop, but, you know, when we get a shop along the way. Oh, 126. It actually gave quite a bit. Yes, uh, let us continue. Oh, this might not have been a great spot placement. I maybe should have moved that one there, but, you know, these two turrets right here will do a little bit of a initial damage. Or it'll just be outside of the range of that one. Oh, a couple of shieldy boys coming in. We'll be fine. So far, the slow towers are have been the least impactful. So these might be the winners in the in the tower wars. I'm trying them all out: the machine gun, the sniper, the slow. Uh, slow definitely. I think the slow is definitely what I'm is going to be my go-to tower. Piece of cake. Oh, these kind of all suck. Um.
I want to hold out for an uncommon tower improvement. I'm going to go with the... I want to hold out for a better... Oh! Oh! We can get a... One of the big tower boosts. Chain damage. Oh yeah, it's noticeably bigger. That's what she said. My god, if I can get a chain damage, that would make me so happy. Oh, but wait, it comes with negatives too. Shoot. It's like the only thing. I wish that the negatives for these, for like the chain, the explosion, the freeze and stuff, weren't quite so bad. Like, I almost don't feel good about taking it because the negatives are that bad. Yeah, nothing's getting through here. We have successfully overcame... We've successfully overcame the negative of the slow tower. Yeah, no, nothing's getting through these things. Nothing's getting through this kill alley here. Not even a question. Hmm. So we have... What's my tower firepower? 19? Explode. Eh. Critical damage. At the same time, increase the... Has a 5% chance to deal 203% of the t of the target tower's damage to the target. At the same time, increase the tower cost by 7%. We're already decreasing. We aren't decreasing tower cost. So the radius is reduced by 10%, but we're already increasing it by 9. Or tower power or fire power. I think I'm going to have to do burning. I'm not happy about it. But I am happy about this. Let's get another damage modifier. Uh, damage effect freeze projectile speed. Critical damage. Tire cost. Uh, what's my shield damage right now? I'm, I'm gonna go with chain. I'm gonna go with chain. I think I have enough shield damage right now to overcome the worst of it. I hope I do anyways. Oh, I'm getting 5% uh, increase in uh, radius. Oh no, 5% damage. Oh no, shield. That's 25. This is so only 10% less damage to them. Plus, there's also the chain. There we go. Some are going to get through, but that's okay. I think, I think we're going to be all right. We might not be as all right as I was hoping. Come on, super shield. Oh boy, I'm getting worried now. And I don't have an extra life either. Damn it! 